what's up everybody welcome back to pens and d my name is carrie and today we are going to be looking at another caveco fountain pen if you hear my cat in the background it is what it is <laughs> um parker wants to be known today uh this is the caveco dia 2 um, i have it in the chrome version you can also get a gold version um but i don't really like the gold version um, i much prefer chrome but that is just a pure taste Thing. Uh, this pen was sent to me by the awesome folks over at Caveco in Germany. Um, so I did not pay for this pen, but I am not being paid for the review. So everything is my own opinion. Um, so I knew nothing about this pen <laughs> when it was sent to me. Um, I knew roughly that it was a full size pen. Um, but as far as like details, what the nib was, all that kind of stuff, didn't really know. Um, the finial at the top here is the same as any Caveco Sport, uh, which you all know I have a billion of. <laughs> um, I'm going to use the green one just for funsies. So the finial at the top, same. Uh, obviously it is a full-size pen, so it's much different in size. Um, so this is pretty much where the similarities for the outside of the pen stops. Um, I'll get to the inside later. Uh, it's kind of like nicely rounded here and then it has this like faceted thing around the top of the finial before you get to the silver clip, uh, which just says Caveco, flares out, and it's a pretty decent nib. It's got some good, good tension to it, um, but I don't feel like it would like destroy anything. Uh, it does have the branding, so Caveco Dia, uh, Germany, up at the top here, uh, and then two silver trim bands. The body tapers down all the way to the end finial, uh, which is kind of like a smaller version of the top finial here, um, where you have that faceted thing again, and you have the clip, or not clip, finial again. It's the exact same thing on both sides. You screw it off and you use it like a fountain pen. <laughs> uh, it just pushed a post. It posts fairly well, um, like it posts pretty deeply. I don't use it posted, um, but it does feel nice when it is posted. It's a light pen, um, not as light as the Sport, uh, but it does sit well balanced whether it's posted or not. Um, if you have very, very small hands, then I, you know, it might be a little bit back weighted. Um, but I think for the vast majority of people, uh, it'll be fine, posted or unposted. Um, got the threads here. The grip section does taper in a little bit. Um, so it does flare out towards the end where you have this little metal ring here. And then you have the Caveco nib. The nib is a little bit bigger than the sport nib, but the design is the same. Um, so the, the scroll work, the placement of everything is the same. It's slightly larger, um, but if you've ever used the Caveco Sport before, uh, it is nearly identical in every way, shape, and form as far as the way that it feels. The nib for me uh, does look dwarfed on this pen. Uh, like when I first got it, I thought that it was literally the exact same nib um, until I compared them side by side. So the nib seems like it's too small for the pen, uh, even though the pen is small. Um, you know, it's it's not a girthy pen by any means. So if I whip out this Platinum Century 3776, which is not known for being a large pen, yes, it is longer, but the grip section is much skinnier. Um, and I mean, just look at the nib size difference, <laughs> which, you know, Size doesn't always matter when it comes to nibs, but sometimes it does. <laughs> um, you know, if I get this Aurora Optima out here, the grip section much, much, much skinnier. Um, if I get out, I think actually, you know, this Platinum Preppy, this Preppy has been through some, some trials here. <laughs> um, the grip section on the Platinum, which is hard to see because this is a clear grip section. Um, it's close to this. This is still a little skinnier, um, but it's, it's close to it. Um, it's definitely been 
been through some things. Um, so it's, it's, it's a very skinny, skinny, skinny pen. It reminds me of the Pilot Knight uh, that I had way back in the day. Um, so you unscrew the body. There is metal on the inside of the body, which gives it a little bit of weight, but it is still a very light pen. Um, and then obviously you have metal attachments here. Um, so no eyedroppering. I have filled up one of the Caveco cartridges, um, but it does take a um, full size cartridge or converter as well, uh, which is nice. Uh, and Caveco does not provide one with the pen, or at least I didn't get one provided with the uh, pen from Caveco, um, but you can buy a full size one. Um, so what do I think of the look of it? Um, I like the look of it. It's a, it's a little skinnier than I was expecting. Um, I was expecting a pen more along the, uh, I guess, I don't want to say diameter, but um, I'll get this pen back out again. Uh, I thought it would be more along the size of a, a 3776. Um, and it, it's not quite there. It's smaller than that. Um, which is, is not a problem. I was just, for whatever reason, based on like, you know, people's photography of the pen, I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger. Um, but it is definitely more a, a preppy size pen, uh, heavier than the preppy. Um, most of that weight, to be honest, is in the cap. Um, so if you take the cap off, then it's, it's pretty close. Uh, it's actually almost identical in size to the preppy. Um, like I said, the grip section is smaller, but the body is almost identical. Um, so that's on me. Um, it was just a little bit of a shock <laughs> that it was a little bit smaller. Um, but as far as the design goes, uh, I like it. I prefer gold, tr um, silver trim. So you can get gold if you prefer that. Um, it, it, it's modern looking, but still different enough where I'm like, okay, I can do that. <laughs> um, what do I have inked up in this? Uh, I have another Birmingham Pen Company ink, and this is Snowflake. Um, stay tuned. I have a giveaway of a bunch of inks in a video coming up soon. Uh, so let's see how this writes. Okay, this has never, ever, ever happened before. Let me zoom in here. Um, I think it was just because I've been holding the pen showing you guys for so long um, because I've never had any hard starts or skipping or, or, or anything like that. So I think this is an anomaly here. Um, as far as the actual pen goes, I quite like it. Uh, it's nice and wet. Uh, it's very smooth, like smoother than even some of my sports. Um, and I have done absolutely zero work to this pen. So I am very pleased with how this pen performs. Uh, it writes really, really well. That said, I, I will also mention a little tiny bit of credit does have to go to the ink. Um, this ink is a bit of a, a wetter writer. Um, it is part of their Swift formula. Um, so a little bit goes to, to that. But the bulk of the credit definitely goes to the nib. Um, as far as the mediumness of this nib goes, I would be like, eh, no, it's at the very least in between a medium and a broad. It's it's a it's a thick mama. <laughs> um, you can't really squeeze out any line variation, like a teeny tiny, itty tiny little bit, but not really anything. Uh, reverse writing, when I was playing around with this, I am super pleased with this. I've never actually had a pen that reverse wrote so well. In fact, it almost seems like this is a double-sided nib. Um, you can definitely get to a fine nib. It's very smooth. I wrote a whole page in the reverse writing. So I don't know if I just got lucky with this nib because most of my other sports don't do that. Um, again, this is not the exact same nib as on the sport, but it's pretty darn close. Um, most of my other sports don't do that. And so I think I just got lucky um, because 
it feels phenomenal. <laughs> um, this nib in general is one of the best nibs I've ever used from Caveco. Um, and spoiler, if you saw my review of the brass Caveco pen, I actually have one of their premium nibs on this. Um, and I prefer the way this writes. Again, I've used many, 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 many Caveco sports, um, many, many Caveco sports, uh, and none of them feel quite like this. Um, so I'm not sure because I've, this is the first dia I've ever used. Um, I'm not sure if this is like a one-off or if this is like the experience you'll get on everything, but I love the way this writes. <laughs> I absolutely adore the way that it writes. Um, I don't love using it for long term because the grip section is too narrow for me um, to, to be comfortable for long writing sessions. Um, and I wish that it was a little bit of a girthier pen. Um, I wish that it was closer to the 3776 um, and not so skinny um, because that is a downside, a bit of a bummer for me. Um, but that said, Man, this nib is good. Um, this is also, the ink is very much like super turquoise and blue on camera. In, in real life, these two inks do not even look remotely similar. This is much more of a teal um, with a lot more green than what the camera's picking up. This is like tripping me out here. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, I just, I, 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 I love the way that this pen writes. I just wish it was a bigger pen um, or at least a slightly girthier pen. Um, but that is pure preference to me. I know a lot of people do prefer, um, you know, skinnier pens. What the heck was that? I gotta go. I think my cat's starting to destroy some stuff because she wants to play if you've heard her meowing all throughout this video. Um, so... <laughs> Do I recommend this pen? Yes, I do. It is more expensive. If you've never ever used a Caveco before um, and you don't really want to invest this uh, amount of money, then do pick up a Sport because um, then you'll get an idea. Now, I will say they're not a carbon copy of each other. The Sport nibs, can they're known to be a little hit or miss. Uh, some you get that are perfect out of the box some not so much um you know maybe if you order from somebody who does like free tuning for you um then then do that um but it's less of an investment than this pen would be um and like i said this is the only dia i've ever used so i don't know if the nib experience that i'm having here is a one-off also um you'll have to take a look at the comment section down below please anyone if you've used the dia before um right below if your experience is like mine because this nib is fantastic um so do i recommend it yes i do <laughs> um just keep in mind that it is a very skinny skinny pen uh, and that grip section is pretty narrow um, but other than that i really really like it um, and if you liked this video if you got any value out of it do hit that like button and the subscribe new videos come out every monday and friday an occasional uh, you know book series that i do uh, comes out on tuesdays guys i appreciate you if you're still watching in 14 and a half minutes later you're the reason i make these video and as always i'll see you next time bye